Hi guys. So this video is part two to our stock market notification system project. Today I want to show you how to add SMS alert using Twilio. So what is Twilio? Um, in my description, uh, Twilio is a tech company out of San Fran. Uh, they offer cloud services and APIs that allow developers to build voice and SMS based applications. Um, I hope that's right. Uh, in regards to the feature we're adding today, uh, there's four things you will need. One, of course, is a Twilio account. Two is a phone number. Three is a SID. And four is a token. Now, the SID and token are given to you when you create an account. The phone number, there is a cost associated with that, but it's really, really cheap and really simple to buy. Um, I think they have local numbers that start at a dollar a month and toll free numbers may be three dollars a month uh, matter of fact hold on a second let's look that up pricing right so your local number starts at one dollar a month and to to receive and send text messages is less than a penny, so 0 0.0075. Uh, I'm sorry, toll free numbers are $2 a month and basically the same price to send and receive text messages. Okay, so now that that part's over, let's start coding some of this stuff out. So, this is basically where we left off at from our previous video. Um, what I'm going to do is maybe clean up some of this stuff and make room for our new feature. Um, I'm just going to tighten up. Um, and uh, we're not going to be working with the Mac today. We're just going to be focused on the Min. So I'm going to remove that. All right, so let me move this also. This is where toilet code goes. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go back to Google. Search for Twilio SDK. And we're working with PHP. And there's an option to use uh, Composer, but we're going to install it without Composer. So I'm going to download the file zip file and what I want to do is copy the sample code that Twilio offers bring it back to our IDE and let's paste that in there and clean up a little bit You know what? I'm gonna move this above our function. Take some of the comments out. Um, SDK is installed. So let's look at this, the sample code that Twilio has offered. Again, I said we need an SID, we need a token, and after you create your account, you'll have this provided. Um, the phone number that you're going to send this message to, so this could be your cell phone number, and the Twilio number that you purchase. Move this down here. Okay, so of course, there's a few things that I don't want to make public, so I'm going to 
pause this video right now and matter of fact I'll show you what I'll do before I pause it I'm gonna create a config directory the config file An array, let's call this SID. Token. Okay, so when I pause and come back, I'll have my SID number here, inserted token, and my personal mobile number. And I'm just gonna, I can bring it in. Using this required statement. So. You know what? Let's just make sure it's being pulled over. Okay, so now I'm I'm gonna pause it now before I can fill in this stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I have my config file completely filled out with my SID token and my mobile cell phone number. Um, I went ahead and purchased a special um, Twilio phone number just for this project. So that is paste that here. Okay, and since the market's open let's actually let's see what the current price is for yahoo in apple is right now okay so right now apple's trading at 119.89 and yahoo's trading at 41.99 at 11999 and what was it 
Let me double check that real quick. So of course we want our alert to be sent when our minimum price, when the current price is lower than the minimum. And we said, so if this is the, if our current price is 119.99, make sure it is again. Matter of fact, let me close this. Well, it's, we've run it. It should it should fire off 4198. So we change this to 4199. And if we run this, we should get a text message to our cell phone number from this number. Now, in order to demonstrate how this works. I sync my cell phone to iMessage and the message should pop up here. Alright, so go back here. I don't know if I can go split screen, I guess not. But I'm gonna hit refresh and then pull this iMessage up. Okay. Ready, sit, go. Let's see. There it goes. I was wondering if it was going to work. So that's it, guys. Um, that's how you add an SMS alert using Twilio based off this stock market um, API. Now, I did read somewhere that this is not a real time quote, so maybe it's just like a 15 minute delay, but still, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.